Hello students, today uh, in this video we will discuss uh, last 12 years questions what you, are being, what you have asked in the university exam okay. so database management system of unit 1 is already being completed and also I have given two revision classes to overall discuss the topic. So today we will discuss about some important questions. Those questions already have asked to you. Just look uh, from 2008 to 2019, 12 years question paper I am going to discuss in front of you in your today's video class okay so uh, let us discuss the question um, of 2008 look at this 2008 which code is jcbca 2.4 full mark is 80 and um, uh, each question uh, having 10 or 20 marks so uh, question number one Question number one. This one is the is of unit one. Question number one. Question number two. Question number two is unit two, and question number is for unit one. In unit one, you are being asked two questions. Okay, or either two questions. So first question: What is data dictionary? What you, what do you mean by metadata? So. Uh, we have taught about the metadata, data, about data, and also data dictionary. So you can write answers uh, for these questions, um, like in this way. Uh, just look. Uh, uh, documentation uh, for documentation. Uh, we are using metadata and data about data the data dictionary where we can update we can generate the graphical present presentation of database structure the data dictionary is a vehicle of managing size and complexity in a database environment okay so in a data dictionary we are storing data or we are maintaining how to control data those are stored in database starting from uh, story storage mechanism and access mechanism and before storing uh, you have to plan determining information requirement designing implementation operations and revisions all for all this purpose for all this way we are creating a metadata where data are being stored just look at this where data are being stored that is the uh, data dictionary or metadata they are very useful purpose okay very useful purpose so overall you see this screen and just uh, read and uh, write answering for your own okay so first question was data dictionary and what do you mean by metadata second question uh, what are the functions of database administrator okay what are the functions of database administrator so al already uh, we have discussed database administrator okay database administrator uh, also we have detected in the note like this functions of database administrator like defining conceptual schema first one defining conceptual schema the conceptual schema is defined um, by the database administrator which is used which is database administrator is working in conceptual level means in middle level okay then and defining internal schema defining internal schema all these things already we have detected and the storage structure and access method definition 
ओके देन स्कीमा एंड फिजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मॉडिफिकेशन और मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ फिजिकल और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके वेयर द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ फिजिकल स्टोरेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके देन ऑथराइजेशन एंड ऑथेंटिकेशन फॉर डाटा एक्सेस इन द ग्रांटिंग ऑथराइजेशन फॉर डाटा एक्सेस देन इंटीग्रिटी कंस्ट्रेंट स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड डंपिंग और रिस्टोर स्कीमा डेफिनेशन सो दिस आर द ओवरऑल ऑल पॉइंट्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चंस यू कैन राइट ऑन योर ओके सेकंड और देयर देयर इज अनदर क्वेश्चन दैट इज एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल्स अबाउट कॉलेज मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विथ ईआर मॉडलिंग सो दिस क्वेश्चन also we have discussed uh, in your classes uh, we have done a college management system also we have done the year diagram okay then 2009 i am discussing only unit 1 of tbms okay i am discussing only unit 1 questions of unit 1 so this is the year 2009 uh, same database management system is bc 2.4 so first question was what is tbms discuss the advantages and disadvantages of tbms so at very beginning we have discussed the definitions of database management system and uh, what are the advantages also we have discussed and also disadvantages also we have discussed directly you can write the answer from my note okay the three level architecture most important i have told you three level architecture of the database management system is also very important um, external level conceptual level and internal level okay you can explain uh, level wise okay level wise you can explain answer should be within uh, almost uh, 250 to 300 words then define the term this is for 10 marks they explain the tor this is the 10 marks there is two ddl and dml data definition language data manipulation language these are two important facilities of the database management system that thing already you can write okay uh, or either you can do a a b or c d so each question can be 10 marks so in a question d what is er modeling what are the components of er model explain this is for 10 marks so er model uh, where we are using so many um, components it is a geometrical set geometrical presentation where we are using so many shape or symbols to represent different components like entity attribute link hmm? relations all these things so this is the I uh, questions for uh, 2009 then come to 2010 is the question for 2010 okay so same dvd dbms um, question number 1 um, a b or c d in a question is there explain the characteristics of data in a database so here i are asking how data are stored in database Mm, what is the different data characteristics means how data uh, will be collected how data will be shared means data integrity data secure constant values valid values uh, we can just a uh, again write about data as a very important um, component of the um, database management system Uh, also we have discussed in components of database management system so data has a important um, in database management system database management system collects data from different resources it uh, distributes it processes all things then same question is repeating three level architecture of the okay. then what do you, you know, what do we, uh, we model data data modeling what are the objectives of data modeling why we are using data modeling uh, to represent the system that thing also we can write and also construct an er diagram 
for railway reservation system. You can create uh, entity on your own for a railway reservation system and also you can create own attribute and how they will be linked minimum two relationship uh, will be there this is for 10 marks okay. next question 2008 uh, 11 same um, database management system um, draw the year model for a educational institute or a college management system uh, your year model uh, you have to draw so according to um, your requirement you can uh, create entities and relationships on your own okay you can draw a year diagram the year diagram model next one is your explain role of data database administrator with a suitable example so also we know database administrator but dva is working in conceptual level of database management system uh, also uh, there is an important role what are the important activities uh, important functions uh, what it does database uh, management system that thing that I, you can write in the, for this question next question explain the basic concept of database management system database system advantage and limitations and draw, and the, draw the three level architecture this is for 20 marks minded so 10 marks is, will be for uh, basic concept of database and advantages basic concept of database data database definition what is dbms and what are the advantages of the dbms we have also discussed the advantages of database management system it, it overtakes the limitations of traditional file system okay so basic concept also we have discussed advantage also we have discussed this is for 10 marks and another um, and the, the draw the three level architecture um, we can draw the diagram also we have drawn the diagram um, by considering three level conceptual level um, sorry external uh, external level conceptual level and internal level so view external view global view and internal view this is for 20 marks okay so this question can be written by you this is for 2011 next question was your 2012 this is for two, 2012 okay in 2012 you are being asked um, what are the advantages of database system and explain with the example this is for 10 marks just to define the uh, database management system and also the advantages that thing also we have discussed and the next question is you explain the main components of a database management system what are the basic components of the database management system that thing also we have discussed okay um, five important um, components we have discussed like uh, your um, data um, like hardware software user data manipulation facilities procedures all the things the five components we have discussed that thing are right here then um, in C or in C, the write short notes. Okay, write short notes um, of the following um, on the following data abstraction, data independence. So data independence. Uh, also, we have um, discussed data independence and data abstraction. Um, and these are DBMS facilities. How you abstract? How you uh, retrieve data uh, after manipulation? What about the after processing? Of database system that thing you can write so data independence also you can write and there are two types of data independence logical data independence and physical data independence so data independence is the ability to change a schema in one level without changing without modifying the schema of next higher levels okay so next question uh, D D that is um, what are the different types of data models used in database system different types of data models uh, how many data models are there um, like your hierarchical model uh, year model network model uh, um, and relational models also um, we have written in this concept in your note 
there are basically two types of data model one is your object based data model and uh, another one is your two types of data models also uh, we have discussed one is your object based another one is record based okay so er model is the object based database system okay then and this is for 2012 then and th we have this can discuss 2014 this is the important question this is the previous year question uh, one is what is it define database management system and describe the various components of database system is an advantage of dbms so these three things already um, we have discussed second question what is data independence uh, logical and physical various data independence what are the advantages of each of them and various strategies for us accessing database so these are the question we are being asked in 2014 and what do you mean by database language so database language ddl dml tcl dcl all the things you can write here okay now next Two thousand fifteen. Okay, so hard hard copy was not um, an uh, exact question. So I have written here. So um, in in this two thousand fifteen, I have written these questions. Okay, different database and types of database. Um, describe different uh, advantages of DBMS. So, what is DBMS and our advantages? Okay, this is for 20 marks. Then, short question mm, you can write uh, any two mm, data independence, role of data as administrator, DDL and DML, and three level architecture. Very shortly, you have to define this is for um, 20 marks. Okay, this is for 2015. Then, 2016. That's your question. Question is describe the three level architecture of a database management system and what is data independence. Describe DDL, DML, and DCL. Okay. Uh, or what is DBMS? Describe the different components and advantages of DBMS. So these things already you can write. Then, question, question the same question is repeating in 2015 and 16 as a three level architecture you can uh, i will send you uh, unit one give um, previous year questions and you can match yourself um, how many questions are repeat, repeating mm. uh, three level architecture data independence um, also components they are repeated in these questions are being repeated then same explain different components and advantages of dbms same repeat question and the er model you might you think er model is the most important uh, it is asking uh, it is this question is being asked for in every year almost describe the different components of er diagram so er er model er diagram is the most important um, for coming years okay same question three level architecture three level architecture and er model these two questions most important okay so prepare thoroughly yeah. uh, you are being asked in every year okay so three level architecture three level architecture um, for dbms and what are the what is ddl and dml and dcl all the things then coming to 2018 2018 question. Okay. You see, same question. What, what is data independence? Describe. It is for um, 10 marks. Okay, it is for 10 marks. Just see. What is data independence? Describe. And second question. What is the different components? Same. I have already told you that hardware, software, 
user data and procedure um, manipulation of facilities access mechanism all the things these are the important components of database management system uh, you have write the advantages then data modeling also i have just told you uh, two types of data modeling okay one is your um, record based and ob object based okay already we have discussed uh, in your uh, lesson then um, question number d uh, what is er diagram what are the different components of er diagram give you one example so what is entity relationship diagram um, just write the name about different components uh, like hardware software user data procedure etc and uh, you have to draw a small er diagram mm, any diagram you can draw on your own mm, that may you can write draw er diagram for college management system or library management system or vendor customer relationship student teacher relationship you can diagram you can draw the er diagram for that okay so uh, in a question or two also there is a question define the role of database administrator also this question you can write database administrator or dba uh, we have written and how it is working in the conceptual level of a three level architecture in the second question question uh, db describe three level architecture of database management system so there are three level external and conceptual and internal level and uh, this database administrator is working in conceptual level so who is this conceptual level and the external level and internal level also you can write this was asked for 2008 question um, in uh, unit 1 and that uh, last this is the last question that is for uh, 2019 means if you have a question you are being asked first question um g for 10 marks uh, that is state and explain the three level architecture of database management system question 1 a also explain what is data independence along with its types okay so three level architecture you have to write briefly uh, three level architecture uh, and uh, explain what uh, what is data independence along with this type so in the three level architecture there is a physical data independence and logical data independence question number 1 okay question number 1 physical data independence and logical data independence so in physical data independence uh, there is a mapping between um, external external level um, external level to conceptual level and there is a data independence there is a logical data independence the conceptual to internal level that is uh, physical data independence so this thing now we will discuss just previous year question uh, 2009 uh, first question uh, was state state and explain the three level architecture of dbms and also explain uh, what are data independence along with its type second question Mm, is uh, discuss different components of database management system and write down its advantages uh, over file system mm, so just come to different components uh, in, in the different components we have detected we have discuss in this way and there are five different components six different components uh, we have dis discussed uh, that is hardware software and data procedures uh, data as access language and users these are the diagram to explain all these components we have drawn in this way software hardware data users procedures and users can provide can use data by data as access language so we can explain in this way and also this question and also includes what are the advantages write down its advantages over file system look at this question write down its advantages over file system so traditionally we had um, file system 
which are too difficult to maintain or uh, we are unable to access quickly okay so those are the, uh, those uh, limitations difficulties uh, was at that time and that was uh, overcome by this uh, computerized record keeping system a uh, new database management system mm, we can explain we can write uh, also i have detected you in just compare on the traditional um, file system with computerized record keeping this database management system uh, how it is helpful how it overcomes all limitations uh, so first question was three level architecture support bms so three level architecture oh, we have discuss in this way look at this three level architecture or three schema architecture um, so uh, this architecture having uh, three levels also you can call three tier architecture or ansi spark architecture okay and so three schema architecture or three level architecture like your internal level conceptual level and external level so this is the diagram so we had explained in this way external level and internal level um, there is a, a in between intermediate level that is conceptual level this conceptual level had two relationship or two mapping one mapping with external level and one mapping with internal level okay which is nothing but the data independence also this questions includes same thing what is data independence data independence along with its type what is the types of data independence so data independence uh, is a uh, ability to change the schema of one level without changing the schema of next higher level so this is the data independence due to data independence we can change the schema of any label without affecting your or we can change the hard disk we can change the storage secondary storage device also we can change the programming comes programmers uh, application programming we can change according to our requirement so this is the data independence and there are two types of data independence we have discussed physical data independence and logical data independence okay so in your diagram uh, we just have this color two mapping one mapping is in um, this conceptual um, level conceptual schema with external level so mapping in between this conceptual and this external conceptual mapping and another mapping is conceptual internal mapping so there are two types of data independence one, one is your logical data independence and another one is your physical data independence in the physical data independence we can change the physical storage structure okay means internal file structure can be changed that will not affect that will not affect or without changing the conceptual view or conceptual schema okay and logical data independence we can change the um, we can change the here um, we can change the uh, conceptual schema the conceptual schema it will not uh, affecting to external view or external application program okay so through this all this uh, independence we can uh, do we can change the hard disk we can merge two records into one we can add modify delete different attributes different relationship different entity all the things we have discussed so this is not required what is this is required how um, explain what is the data independence along with type so briefly you have to write here this is for 10 marks another question is your data modeling so data model also uh, we have discussed on um, what is data model um, data model uh, that is uh, a logical structure of database that is logical structure of database in this way uh, we have defined data models are fundamental entities to introduce abstraction data abstraction okay you can retrieve data how data are connected with each other how they are processed how they are stored all things so basically there are two types of data independence uh, one is your um, 
ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल सॉरी देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डाटा मॉडल वन इज योर ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल एंड रिकॉर्ड बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल इन ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड लॉजिकल ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल देयर आर टू देयर आर सम एग्जांपल्स दिस दिस मॉडल्स आर ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड लॉजिकल मॉडल लाइक ईआर ओरिएंटेड रिलेशनशिप मॉडल ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड मॉडल सेमेंटिक डाटा मॉडल एंड फंक्शनल डाटा मॉडल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर सिलेबस Uh, we have discussed only the year by entity relationship model then come to record based logical model in the record based logical model as for our syllabus we, we will cover all these things three important models that's a hierarchical data model network data model and relational data models so this hierarchical data model and network data model will be taught you at the last unit in the four and relational data model will be uh, taught you in unit 3 in details okay so as for our syllabus um, the three all three models and including this er model uh, in this unit all we have only finished this model er model another th three models will be discussed in next unit okay so next question um, for previous year uh, means uh, what is er diagram What is year diagram? Draw the uh, draw an year diagram for library management system. So we have drawn uh, what is year diagram. Also we have discussed. Um, we have drawn so many um, EFT relation diagram for different databases. Also we have discussed this question, same question, uh, year diagram uh, for library management system database. Okay. So in this diagram we have um, taken. and uh, three entity because we are going to draw the year diagram entity relationship diagram so three entity book publisher and members um, and uh, providing all these attributes like this and two relationship like published by and borrowed by uh, published by is the relationship between book and publisher and borrowed by is the relationship between book and member so by considering this three entity and all these attributes and uh, two uh, relationship we can draw this is a sample year diagram for library management system okay so in this way we can write all these questions so till now we have already covered previous 12 years questions okay so find the difficulties or any query you have you can contact me you can send same queries to my whatsapp number or you may use my phone number so we will converse we can clear our doubt so uh, prepare all these things for our community test okay and thank you thank you for watching